Home, sweet home, there is no place like home, by James Smith. These all died in faith. They confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Hebrews 11, 13. The day of life with them is ended. Its duties are ended. Its responsibilities are past. Its hours are fled away. What a trying day some of them had. How stormy, how sultry, how often overcast, how gloomy. But it is now past and past for ever. The toils of the wilderness are over. They had much to afflict and pain them. A difficult and dangerous journey, a long wearisome march, many a heavy cross to carry, many a stubborn foe to face, many a painful doubt, numerous gloomy fears. But now the wilderness is all behind them. The afflictions of the pilgrimage are terminated. Those sufferings were sharp, and some of them continued long. Many of them were endured in secret, without sympathy and without relief. They were soul sorrows, agony of mind, as well as sharp pains of body. But however multiplied, however severe, however protracted those sorrows, they are past and gone, never, never to return. The sweetest repose is now enjoyed. The poor tabernacle has been taken down and is laid in a quiet resting place until the resurrection morning. The soul is gone to be with Jesus. It has travelled through the rough path of life and is now in God's presence, where there is fullness of joy and pleasures for evermore. As Christians, we are going to the same place. The graves will soon be ready for our bodies and the mansions of glory for our souls. We are going home, home to our Father's house, home where our hearts have long been, home where our prayers will be answered and all our best desires will be gratified. Home, sweet home, there is no place like home, especially our home, a paradise without a tempting serpent, a paradise where all are holy, all are safe, all are happy. Those pure and perpetual joys which are at God's right hand await us. We taste them now and are delighted with a sip, but there we shall soon drink full draughts of eternal glory, eternal joy, and eternal blessedness. Amidst present toils and trials, dangers and distresses, when wearied, wayworn, and tempted to fret, remember that you will soon be home. Think, think, O oh my soul, of an eternity of enjoyment, when the sufferings of time are ended. Weeping may remain for a night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. Psalm 35